I'm Gwyneth Paltrow, and this is Everything I Eat in a Day. First thing I do when I wake up is oil pulling with coconut oil. So I have raw organic coconut oil. I put some a spoonful in my mouth. While I'm opening curtains and everything, I'm sort of swishing it around. It's an Ayurvedic way to remove bacteria from the mouth. And then I usually have a large glass or two of water. And then I sit down with my computer at the kitchen table before the kids wake up. And then I have coffee and some quiet time with my husband. And we sort of catch up on email and news. And then I wake my kids up. I'm not a big breakfast person. I'll eat brunch sometimes late on a weekend. But after I take my kids to school, I go straight to the gym. And I always have a big thing of water at the gym. And I put two of our goop glows in there for vitamin C and for skin. And I'm obsessed with that stuff. It's like my morning kind of orange juice. After that, I go to the office and shower, and then sometimes I will get a smoothie from somewhere. So I try to have a smoothie that has some good fat and some protein and some fiber. So sometimes I'll have like a cacao and almond butter smoothie with some spinach and some protein powder. My favorite supermarket called Air One is pretty close to the office and they have amazing smoothies there. So sometimes I'll have like a more green smoothie or sometimes if I'm in a rush, I just eat these delicious peanut butter protein bars, which I can't remember the name of them, but you have to keep them in the refrigerator. I eat them all the time. <laughs> I can't remember the name though. If I'm hungover, which does happen occasionally, although kind of very occasionally at this point, because A, I'm too old to not hold my liquor, and B, I'm too old to have a hangover. Then I try to eat something like, you know, like an egg sandwich or something that will sort of help me through it. You can always get an IV too. That's a very good hangover trick. I usually have lunch at about between 12 and 12.30 at the office. So I'm usually eating for lunch stuff that you would see on the Goop website, like um, a salad with some protein, or sometimes they're testing something really fun for detox, like, you know, they're using jicama for taco shells. You know, they'll do like a really clean version of a turkey burger with some kind of you know, great sauce. It's very healthy and, you know, wrapped in lettuce or something like that. Usually at about three or four, I'll hit the snack cupboard at the Goop office. Maybe I'll have some cashews or pretzels or something like that. But I usually need something salty and crunchy in the afternoon. And then I'll usually have a cup of green tea with that. And then that will hold me through till dinner. And then for dinner, you know, my kids love Asian food, so we'll have some kind of Asian fish, um, noodles on the side. My daughter's vegetarian, so we always have one kind of vegetarian entree. You know, one pot dinners are great. On the Goop website, a bunch of, we developed a bunch of one pot dinners, so those are really great for weeknights as well. I mean, I, let's see, what's my favorite one? There's one that we've been doing a lot recently, which is like chicken in a Dutch oven with lots of, winter root vegetables underneath and uh, potatoes. Really easy kind of, but super delicious. We try to eat early. It depends on the day. Sometimes my daughter has something kind of later and then my son has water polo from seven to 8.30. So we, sometimes we're like sitting down right at 6.15. <laughs> but I like to eat dinner on the early side. I always feel like I don't sleep very well if I go to sleep very full. So I've gotten real geriatric about that, like six, 6.30 dinner time. It feels good. I've been trying not to drink so much on weeknights because it's such an easy habit to fall into. It's like you've had a stressful day and it almost is more about the ritual of it. But sometimes, you know, work is tough and you just need one. So I'll, I, I usually have a Gibson. That's kind of my new thing, which is like a vodka martini, but with the cocktail onions, it's very my father. Or I'll have whiskey on the rocks, like a Japanese whiskey on the rocks usually, so. Basically, I'm turning into an old Jewish man. <laughs> I've pretty much become more of an omnivore. So there's just a few things that I won't eat. I don't like dill. I can't stand dill. I don't like to eat baby mammals. So I stay away from like lamb and veal and I don't eat octopus because they're super smart. One night I got on this, like I went down, I 
internet K-hole on octopus and how smart they are, so I had to stop eating them. Mmm, cheat meal. Oh, it's hard to name just one cheat meal. I love french fries, which is a well-known fact. French fries are sort of my favorite meal. Not that they're a meal, they're technically a side, but I guess I could eat them for a meal, and I would. And I love, I do love pasta, I really do. My favorite french fry in LA is at this grocery store called Santa Monica Seafood, and they have this little counter where you can go and just have oysters and french fries or a delicious salmon burger they have, and you can have a nice dry glass of wine, and they have my favorite french fries in LA. But it definitely smells like fish in there. It's a fish market, so it's not for the fish sensitive. My dad really got me into food. He was an extreme foodie. He loved food so much. Well, he had a pretty humble background, and so when he grew up and became successful, he and was able to go to restaurants and travel for food. It was like to him the most extreme pleasure and luxury, and he appreciated it so much, and so I think he really infused my brother and I with that incredible love and appreciation for food and good ingredients and the experience of eating with people you love. And that's the day of beats for me. Thanks for watching.